All right, we're here with head coach Jeff Thompson. Coach, it's a Tuesday here in Happy Valley. Just take us back this weekend at Nebraska, uh, Big Ten opener, and uh, your first road meet of the year. Yeah, it was really exciting. It was their tumble and rumble event. So we had a wrestling match going on on one end of the gym while we were doing gymnastics, and it was you know, kind of different, but also really, really fun for the girls. We got off to a great start on bars. We hit our first five bar routines. We stuck a bunch of dismounts, and our anchor, Sabrina Garcia, um, did a great bar routine right up until she cast over on her last handstand. So that kind of hurt us a little bit. Sabrina would have put up a big, huge score for us, and we probably would have had the lead on Nebraska after one rotation. Instead, they were ahead of us by like .05. Uh, we went to vault and just had some uncharacteristically bad landings on vault, and the lead um, slipped even further away. We went to floor on our third event. Our leadoff uh, was our all-arounder Jessica Jones, and unfortunately on her second tumbling pass, even though it was a great landing, her chest was up, um, she injured her knee, was unable to finish her routine, and uh, she got an 8.0 for her score. Uh, because of two bad landings on vault, we only had five people on floor, and we had to count that 8.0. So anytime you're counting an 8.0 instead of a, a 9.8, uh, your total score isn't gonna be that high on that day. But we were really proud. The next four competitors on floor, and then the six girls who did beam all hit the routine. So we had 10 hit routines in a row to end the meet. Um, we added uh, Tess McCracken and Peyton Schuler to the beam lineup, and they both went in and hit for their first time competing beam. So, you know, you take those two positives away, the fact that we hit the last 10 routines uh, moving into this weekend's double dual meet against Maryland, uh, we're building confidence. Looking back at that... Uh... Nebraska meet, uh, Kristen Pollitt's freshman second career meet, competed, competed in her first all around and finished third with a 39050. Uh, what, what do you see from her in her first all around meet and uh, looking forward to this weekend? Well, Kristen's a great competitor and she's a great team player. Um, you know, due to some illness and a, and a couple injuries, we only had five girls that could really vault, and Kristen volunteered to be sixth in the lineup uh, to just go and do a layout in case something happened where someone missed. And, of course, that happened. So she stepped up. She did a, a layout on vault, got a great score. But uh, because of that, she had an all-around score. But her bar routine, her beam routine, and her four routine were all very impressive. She ended up winning and having our highest all-around score. She didn't win the all-around, but she had our high, highest all-around score for the day of 39.05. So for a freshman, first time out on the road, to do that, it was impressive, and we just look for bigger and better things from her the rest of the season. This weekend, we return home Saturday at 4 against Maryland in double dual meet uh, with the men's team taking on Army West Point. What, what is the atmosphere like in the double dual meet um, competing with the Penn State men? Well, it's like a three-ring circus. You know, there's every, just something going on all, all the time. We're trying something a little bit different this year. We're going to try to incorporate the women's setup into the double dual setup. In the past, everything's been set up sort of in a long, narrow, uh, shotgun approach. And the women's judges, they can't sit back far enough from the events to really judge properly. And they, they, they've complained about it for, for years. So we've spaced the equipment out. Uh, we're trying something a little bit different. So when fans come, you might not be able to sit in your normal seats. But uh, it's going to be great viewing for everybody. It's going to be most importantly, great for the student athletes and for the judges who are judging the event. So uh, it should still be equally exciting, just uh, a different uh, format this weekend. What are you looking forward to from the team this week in practice heading into the Maryland meet? Well, this week in practice, we're asking for a couple people to step up and help us out. You know, we're going to need somebody to add a floor routine to our lineup for this weekend to replace Jessica. Um, we don't want to go into the meet and count a zero, obviously. So uh, we have some kids that have volunteered. We're going to work through whatever it is that they can do this week to try to put them out there you know, where they can be confident, where they can be safe, but where they can give us a score so that we're able to compete with Maryland for the victory. All right, we're here with senior Nicole Medvitz. Nicole, you won the balance beam title this past weekend at Nebraska. Just take us through the meet. and It was a tumble and rumble. What kind of experience was that like? Um, well, it was different competing with the wrestlers. I thought it was going to be a lot more distracting, but we really didn't even notice them. So that was kind of good because we still stayed in our own bubble and like focused on our team. Um, we had a rough start, but after um, we regrouped and we were able to hit the last 10 routines and we finished really strong on beam, so that was exciting. What's it like 
finishing strong uh, those last 10 routines and taking that into practice and then into a, a double dual meet this weekend. It really shows how we can forget about what happened earlier on and really just focus on the routines that we need to do. And some people stepped up and did a really great job, especially in the beam lineup. And it shows that really we could put anyone on our team in and they'll be able to hit. And we'll just think of that when we're moving forward. Uh, moving forward to Maryland this weekend, uh, your senior, what's it like double dual meets here at uh, Penn State with the men's team? Yeah, double dual meets are always exciting because with the men's team, they bring a lot of a lot of energy, and we're always cheering for each other. So it'll be a lot of fun, and hopefully we can get two wins in.